Are you planning to cruise to Canary Islands? Then this video is for you. Hello again, how is going? And welcome to the vlog number 2 of the Canary Islands Crew Port Guide. Today we are at the Las Palmas. This crew port is super easy as you can walk off the ship and go straight to the city center. It takes about 15 minutes walk from the cruise port itself to the city center. One other convenient thing about this port is once you walk past this checkpoint, on your right hand side there's a huge shopping mall here. You can stop by on the way out or you can stop by on the way back if you want to check out what's available there or you want to buy some stuff as souvenirs instead of buying from the souvenir store in town. Normally it's a lot cheaper when you buy at the mall. It's so easy to get around the city. As you can see on the floor here, it tells you the direction, which direction to walk. You can get on hop on hop off buses from here or you just go straight and turn right after the intersection to go straight to the downtown center and then carry on straight forward. Then you will hit the beach. Right outside the mall there's a big size that Las Palmas de Gran Canary. Stop by there and take a photo like the rest of the tourists. It is a good idea to get there about 11 in the morning. I got there way too early. I think I got there about 10 when most of the shops and stores still closed. Some coffee shops and restaurants are already open but most of the shops still close. So if you want to get there and experience the vibe and do the shopping around, it's a good idea to arrive there about 11, 11.30. The city is very nice and it's so close to the port. You don't even need to book short excursion. But if you want to, go ahead. The ship might offer you different stuff that have more interest than walking around town. But otherwise, the city itself is so charming and there's a lot to do there. Now that you are here, let me tell you more about this wonderful place. The Santa Catalina Cruise Terminals of Las Palmas is the most important port of ferries and cruise ships. So it's always busy here. The cruise terminal can bathe two large vessels. It is located right to the city center, only 100 meters to the most very modern shopping center city. And original buses leave from the bus station right in front of the terminal. There are also plenty of taxis here. You can easily discover everything on foot. At the heart of Vikita Quarter, City Twin Tower, Santa Ana Cathedral, the first artistic constructions in Canaries, which was executed followed the orders of Catholic kings. After Grand Canary was inquired in 1478, the construction started around 1500 and was not completed until almost four centuries later making the invention of several architects and artists inimitable. The results of which can be seen in three basic architectonic styles Gothic, Renaissance and Neoclassics. Another fun thing to watch is the kinetic moving sculptures at the entrance of the Technology Museum which is only about 150 meters from where you are docked. The tourist office is at the Calle Leon y Castillo Number 17. Once you're done with the city center, you will arrive at the promenade. Walk along the promenade. It's a beautiful walk. It takes about 30 minutes walk. You can stop by the coffee shop. I just enjoy watching people around, both locals, tourists, and also the cruisers. The pier have big cruise ship today, so imagine probably plus minus six eight thousand people got off the cruise all you need here is a good pair of walking shoes the place is very easy to walk it's completely flat also don't forget sunblock even though it's in the middle of November the sun is pretty strong here the weather is much warmer in Spain compared to other places in Europe if you want to spend more time outside the city there are some nearby places. Let's check this out. For beaches, north of the city, take a bus or taxi from Parque Santa Catalina. It's a Playa de las Cantaras. A 3 km stretch of sand with lots of restaurants and good local atmosphere. Playa de Inglés. A 15 minute ride by bus or taxi. Has nice beaches too, beside the many high rise hotels. Acuras is the island's banana capital, west of Las Palmas, into the mountains. After enjoy people watch at the coffee shop in the old part of town, 
You stroll along the promenade, check out the beaches and the activity around there, and the beautiful blue sky. After you dine with people watching at the coffee shop in the old part of town, and stroll along the promenade, you might consider check out some shopping. Beside the port is El Muye, a commercial center with large stores and boutiques, lots of shops, and a narrow street on the other side of nearby Park in Santa Catalina, a square full of outdoor cafe. If you are looking to buy some tobaccos and alcohol, this is the best place to shop, as Canaries have special duty-free status. But check with your cruise ship, because after you got all your goodies. When you get back on the ship, it's a different rule. They might not let you take bring your stuff in. Just check with the crews first before you buy your tobaccos and alcohol. Las Palmas is one of my favorite port. It's so easy to get from the port to the city. The place is really flat to walk, so we just need a good pair of shoes to walk around. Make sure you have the sunblock. Spain can be pretty warm even in winter. Also, you can enjoy the coffee shop, restaurant, walking along the beach, and you can stop by the big mall by the port and do your shopping for what you need or what you might not need. I hope this vlog gives you some idea what to plan when you get to Las Palmas. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you for watching, and please give me the thumbs up. Subscribe and don't forget to follow me on TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram. As always, thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye for now.